Hi, I'm Steve Hildner. Welcome to the live streaming yard, as we call it, uh, because I have a stream in the backyard. But right now we're in the front yard and we're looking at how runoff can be handled from the neighbors. A lot of people have runoff coming from the neighbors. That's, and in this case, it was headed right towards my house. Um, now I'm uh, president of the Friends of Herontown Woods. And what we have out there is a botanical art garden where we demonstrate how to manipulate water uh, as it's coming through the garden. That's a very important aspect of gardening. And so what I did is I put a berm, we have a downspout there, and we have a, a pipe that takes the downspout water all the way out to the front. And we also have a little berm there that carries the runoff from the neighbor's yard uh, out to the front as well. And uh, other aspects is we have a lot of native, gar native plants. We have some non-native plants like hostas and so forth. And then we have some trees that are helping to cool the atmosphere around here through transpiration. So here you can see a couple different features. One is this rain garden here with a bunch of native plants and it's catching runoff from that downspout uh, from the roof of the uh, house. And then the other thing is what I call wishing the earth well. It looks like a wishing well, uh, but instead of giving water from the earth, we put leaves in the, er leaves in the well and it goes down. And you can see how the inside is for your food scraps. Uh, you can just take food scraps from the kitchen and uh, put them in there, and then the leaves all around it disguise it so you can't see the food scraps. And what I really like about this is that I put it out in the front yard, and people who are passing by, they can take a leaf and make a wish and drop it into the wishing the earth well. We're now in my backyard, which is pretty big, and when we bought the house, it was essentially all lawn. A lot of work to mow it. And, what, uh, and during heavy rains, we'd have water coming from uphill, flowing through the backyard in the sheet flow. It was a substantial amount of water, and then all that water was going down to the downhill neighbors and flooding their yards. And we realized we really had to do something to, uh, and I saw it as an opportunity because I love wet, sunny, situations where I can grow all these native plants that thrive in that kind of situation. And uh, so what I started doing is I started planting shrubs and wildflowers along the edges and slowly shrinking the yard so I didn't have to mow so much. And all these native uh, plants started providing flowers for the bees and, and uh, they really thrived on all that water. And we started making check dams uh, along the way to slow the water down so that it would sustain the plants through the droughts. So if you actually make use of the water that's coming through your yard, you can make your plants thrive. Right, here's, here's a little farther down in the garden. And I, I wanted to say that this, I, I look back on the old maps and this turned out actually to be part of Harry's Brook. This is a tributary and you can see it on the old maps. Uh, so that's how, you know, that's how much water is coming down here during heavy rains. And what we've done is we've planted all these plants that love wet, sunny situations. We have Culver's root, we have different sedges, we have cup plant, uh, Joe pie weed, all these things. And they really drive, they create a lot of flowers in summer and they drive a lot of, uh, for the pollinators, excellent food. And hummingbirds uh, eat the jewel weed. So it's, it's a real thriving, habitat, we're basically recreating a floodplain here. I'm standing in a pond, a mini pond that we made, one of seven that we made to hold water as it flows down this valley through my yard. And uh, so you can see it's empty right now, which is good because that means there's room for all that runoff to, to flow into and be held back uh, because this water, when it leaves my yard, it goes through a gauntlet, basically, between two houses that were built in the floodplain back in the 50s or 60s, probably in the 60s. And, and so when these are full of water, uh, we used to have goldfish in them and uh, to, to kill the mosquitoes, to eat the mosquitoes. But the problem with that was that the uh, blue herons would come through periodically and eat the goldfish. So now we use something called mosquito dunks uh, that limits the um, number of mosquitoes that uh, come into the ponds. All right, I hope you've learned something about how to utilize water. What we do here is turn problems into opportunities. 
We, t we turn trees into firewood for our wood stove. We turn runoff from our neighbor's yard into uh, a beautiful garden with native plants that uh, in the summer, when it's all blooming, it's really rocking with all those pollinators. And, and we're also trying to protect the neighbors downhill by reducing the amount of runoff that comes off our own property. So environmental, it's like a win, win, win. And that's kind of what we're doing here.